Hey, what's going on guys? Neil here bringing you a brand new video. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Microsoft's announcement to invest $10 billion in OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT. So let's jump right into it. So Microsoft said on Monday, which is today when I'm recording, that they are making a multi-year, multi-billion dollar investment in OpenAI, the San Fran Artificial Intelligence Lab behind the experimental online chatbot ChatGPT. The companies did not disclose the specific financial terms of the deal, but a person familiar with the matter said Microsoft will invest $10 billion in OpenAI. Microsoft had already invested more than $3 billion in OpenAI, and this was earlier on. So we can assume that they at least have this $3 billion investment that's confirmed. They didn't want to confirm this investment today, but we know that's a multi-year, multi-billion dollar investment. And there's been a lot of rumors that it's been 10 billion. And there's been a lot of articles coming out today that it's been 10 billion. They just don't want to release the exact source. So it's safe to assume that we can think that it's 10 billion, right? And I'm going to talk about their valuation in a bit, but right now, they, the most recent valuation they got was 29 billion, right? So if they are investing 10 billion now and they already invested 3 billion before, you can safely assume that they own almost, or at least have one third stake in OpenAI, which is immense for Microsoft and their stock in general. So this is the deal follows Microsoft's announcement last week that it had begun laying off employees in a part of an effort to cull 10,000 positions. So they're actually looking to cut 10,000 positions here, but these cuts would let the company refocus on priorities such as AI. So this is a big shift that they're making and clearly they're throwing a lot of money into AI. And I think AI is going to play a big part of 2023 and beyond. So let's keep an eye on that moving forward. And in 2020, OpenAI built this system, GPT-3, that could generate a text on its own. Last year it unveiled DALE, which is the photos. Then they released ChatGPT. So they have a lot going for them right now. And last week it expanded, uh, Microsoft said that uh, they're gonna expand availability of several open AI services to customers of Microsoft's Azure cloud computing offering and said that ChatGPT would be coming soon. So that's huge for Azure cloud computing uh, users. So it's gonna be used in business. It's gonna be used by retail users. Um, and this is gonna be huge for open AI because they're gonna have a lot of money to work with now. And the company said that it's planned to report its last quarterly earnings results on Tuesday, and then investors expect to, the difficult economy, including declining personal sales and more cautious business spending to further hit revenues. So basically what that means is they're expecting sales and revenues to not be the best. Uh, they announce earnings tomorrow. So as you can see, you know, we've topped out here at the end of last year at around 350. The stock's around 250 now, so it'll be interesting to keep an eye on if the market can hold this bottom here from the end of last year. And we'll see where Microsoft and a bunch of other companies report earnings tomorrow. That should be very interesting. So on top of that, they face, you know, slowing growth. And like I said, Wall Street expect analysts expect the new financial results to sl show a uh, slow growth since 2016. So it's but in spite of this all, right, they've continued to return money to investors through dividends and they've done 60 billion shared buybacks um, authorized by its board in 2021. So don't just think that, you know, Microsoft is going to have bad earnings and that they're spending a bunch of money. They're a massive company with massive cash on hand that has a lot of flexibility to make a move like this. And obviously they want to do a lot more than just a chatbot or a programming assistant. You know, Microsoft and OpenAI are going to work together to do something a lot bigger. You know, their mission is to build AI, a machine that can do anything the human brain can do, right? So the new AI technologies, it's very exciting, but we also have to keep in mind that there's a whole list of flaws and problems, which include, include toxic content, misinformation, hate speech, and images that are biased against women and people of color, and just many more things like copyright issues, right? Five, five years ago, Microsoft released a chatbot called Tay that generated racist and xenophobic language and quickly removed it from the internet after complaints from its users. So it's going to be interesting to see how big companies like Microsoft, Google, and other companies get into this AI space without damaging you know, their big reputation that they have with their brands. So I'm really excited to see OpenAI 
working with Microsoft in the future here. So if you guys like this type of content and this type of update, let me know in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe for more. Thanks, guys.